guys, it's Wendy here with Wendy's Plans, and today I am going to talk about what you do when you get behind in your journaling. So guys, stick around. Okay guys. So these two are my planners. I'm going to sit those to the side because we're going to look at those last. And um, so sometimes life gets busy and time slips away and you have to put something on the back burner so you can get to everything you need to do. And sometimes it's difficult when like for example when you are a journaler and you want to journal every day sometimes you just don't have the time i'm going to tell you what i do um even though my five-year journal is a five-year journal sometimes i just can't get to it on that day so one of the things that I have learned is that I still know what happened on those days, even though I didn't write it on that day. It's not necessarily that I didn't journal um, because every day I try to journal something. My allergies are killing me, guys. Um, I try to journal something so I don't consider it being a failure at journaling every day I just pick up the pieces and I move on and so one way of doing that is like today is the 10th and that is Sunday so the 9th would have been Saturday 8th would have been Friday so we're just going to sit here and do my five-year journal real quick and we're going to get um, this one called up while we're here. Okay, so just like that, Friday's done. We just need to do Saturday, and then we're called up.
Alrighty. So Saturday is done. Today is Sunday. And in that few minutes, that five minutes or so, um, I could get caught up on my five-year journal that's the thing i love about this journal is that it really doesn't take long and yes i could have found that five minutes on friday and five minutes on saturday that i could have done that but life happens and in those moments you just don't feel like you can sit down and do your journaling you can do it the next day guys you really can so that being said i'm not going to sit here and journal in my regular journal <clears throat> guys i am so sorry my voice is going to go in and out um because <clears throat> allergies and i don't honestly i don't know what it's got them all stirred up today but it that's what it is it, may, it could have been all the walking i did yesterday so again I need to do Friday and Saturday, and then I'm going to be called up again. And I will do that sometimes, um, but I'm going to show you why I don't mind catching it up. Is because most days I'm doing journaling here. Yeah, there's days here like I didn't do it here on the 8th or the 9th or the 10th things were just really crazy um I, I put my water down here I drank my water I didn't check it off I did things here I didn't check it off but you know that's the beauty of it's okay it's really okay um so today I am going to get my checklist ready the first thing that I normally do is I put down some washi and I'm looking for all my stuff, guys. And the thing is, it's crazy to me <laughs> that I can sit here and lose things. And my desk is cleaned off, guys. It really, truly is. I'm going to have to show y'all a picture. Maybe I can post that on Instagram today. This is the newest washi that I had received from Amanda. This has been a couple weeks. Well, guys, you're going to hear my computer binging at us every once in a while because I don't know how to turn those notifications off. I thought I had. So I have to get Christopher in to look at it. These, this washi is so stinking cute. There we go. So I don't always set my pages up and use washi or use stickers or whatever but sometimes it just feels nice to do that and it also it also depends on do I have time am I getting a later start than what I intended it can be a lot of different things so There we go. I'm looking forward to taking some of this washi with me on vacation because I'm trying to get them off of my fingers. I think the color that I'm going to use, I, I'm trying to use up the orange, but I think the orange is not going to go with this. So I think we're going to go with um the brown i have brown in here now i'm looking for my ruler this one will work it's not the one i usually use but it'll be all right a rule a straight edge is a straight edge it doesn't matter i like to come two blocks in
let's see if that'll work. Um, and today I know there's some things that I want to do. Ready. <clears throat> so that is enough for me to, um, oh, I got to take my meds, but I'll take that as soon as I finish. So we'll go ahead and mark that off. So that is enough to get me started for today. And so as my day goes, I will journal some more. I will add to my list. I will get things done. That is how I kind of keep up on my journaling, even when I am really stressed or I have a lot of things going on. Um, for example, on Friday, I was not expecting to go into work and I was asked to come into work to help train um, the person that took my place. And so that is what I did. I went in, I knew I had a hair appointment, so I explained to her that I would be glad to come in and help. However, <laughs> I needed to leave for my hair appointment. So I went into work, I went straight to my hair appointment, I came straight home, and when I got home, my Hobonichi box was on the front porch. So I stopped what I was doing and I or what I had planned. I didn't have anything going at that point. And I, I simply just filmed my unboxing and then it was editing and uploading it and taking pictures and all of that. So my day just kind of passed because I didn't leave my hair appointment till 2.30, 3 o'clock-ish. And then by the time I got home, it was... 3.30, almost 4 o'clock, filming, editing, that takes a while, and then getting something to eat. So, yeah, things just kind of got away from me, and um, I don't know why, but when I go in and do even like a half a day at work, it just tires me out so much, and I think it's because I stress that I'm going to miss the alarm because I'm not used to 
setting an alarm. So, so Friday, everything just kind of got away from me. Saturday, I spent a lot of time with my son. And um, when I have time with him, I don't want to worry about what else I'm not doing or what I am doing. So guys, don't beat yourself up. That's the whole point of this is don't beat yourself up if you don't journal for that day. You can journal for the day before. I mean, it's your journal. And you set the parameters of when you can journal and when you can't. And I do a daily journal nine days out of ten. I'm going to journal on that day. Once in a while, I'm not. And I don't beat myself up. But I still remember what I want to write about because my journal is about what I did for the day. Now, do I want to do a journal where I have a prompt and I write about that? Absolutely. Have I worked that into my journaling routine? No. Maybe over the next few months that might be something that I could do, but for me, it is getting my thoughts out of my head and on paper that releases that emotion that's tied up with with that and so for me when I journal get it out of my head it's gone and I don't have to worry about it anymore and that's the reason I do this type of journaling um, whatever feels good to you to journal about that's what you need to do so guys I don't know if these little journaling videos help or not but for me it's just something I wanted to do I'm going to try to continue doing them on Sundays um, sometimes you're going to get videos that is not technically journaling, but it's journaling planning related. So yeah, that's just the way it is guys. So until next time, bye-bye.